It's an annual summer pilgrimage. I will put everything else aside <laughs> to be here. We're with our people. To the Mecca. We're kind of forever. For all things fantastic. Comic-Con. It's really staggering, it's really special. Even more so this year. The 50th edition of this annual celebration of the superhero and science fiction world. The evolution of Comic-Con over 50 years is, is really something to be celebrated. What started in 1970 with just 300 people in a hotel basement on one afternoon has mushroomed into a four-day extravaganza. Hi. More than 130,000 fans from more than 80 countries. There's so many nice people dressing up. Fans who revel in what they've already read and seen and what's to come. Really, I think people want to know what's going to happen with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Movie and TV stars and creators come to tout projects in the works, and in some cases, one's already finished. The show might be over, but it's not really over until you get a Comic-Con send-off, and that's what's going to happen with Game of Thrones. There's even a new series from the granddaddy of fan fests. People really want their Star Trek fix. And of course, this is the 50th anniversary this weekend of the moon landing. So, you know, celebrate it with a little trip to space. Part of what promises to be an out of this world experience for Comic-Con fans. 50th anniversary. Mark Barger, NBC News.